Hello, welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Jack and I have a serious case of gas, gear acquisition syndrome. I'm going to be using my radio voice today. And today we're going to be looking at how to get your own personal IRs into the more radar. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go over to moreaudio.com. And once we're there, we can go down over to support and down to downloads. And once we're at downloads, you want to just scroll down until we see radar downloads. And then you're going to want to download this zip file, either for Windows or for iOS. Or EOS, iOS. I don't know. I'm a Windows user. Pronounce it the way you want. So, file has been downloaded. I'm going to open this up in the folder. So, once you've opened it up in the folder, you can just open up the zip file. And in this case, I'm just going to extract it straight to my desktop. So here you can see the extracted file. It's Moore or Moore Studio for Radar. Just open that up. And you can select language, of course. I'm doing English. Then I'll just quickly install this. Standard destination folder. I'll create a desktop icon because it's probably something I'll use quite often. And we're done. So I can already see here, also on my desktop, the Moore, Moore Studio for Radar is open. And I so, so far have no device to open. So next step, connect your Moore radar to your computer using USB 2.0. So you're gonna need a USB 2.0 plug. And the first thing you do is you actually plug this in so that the USB is connected up first. And then you have the power cable. And before you plug in the power cable, hold the red button down plug it in and you'll see loading. You'll probably get a sound as well from your computer saying that there is a connection you can let go then and it will show loading. And then once you see that, you can open up the more radar software. So once you actually have your more radar hooked up, um, what's very important and I'll, I'll repeat this plug it into a USB 2.0 plug. I tried it with a normal standard micro USB, USB B, um, using a USB 3.0 input on my computer, it did not work. It only worked until I finally plugged it into a USB 2.0 plug. So that is important. And then it will give you the option to update it. It's always best to keep your firmware up to date. So I clicked on update. This will delete your presets. So keep that in mind if you do have any on there. If you do and you wanna back them up first, do that and then maybe do an update. So we'll let this run. So we're almost about done with the update. I wanted to keep this um, shown as well. And you probably heard that. Update done. Successful. Fantastic. The little screen on the more radar changed as well. So it's also showing now version 1.2. Let me open up the more radio for studio. It's probably still restarting. Oh, there we go. Now it's actually been recognized. So I'll open it up again. And now we can see waiting. And there we are. We are now in the interface of the actual more radar. And you can see right now we're on preset one. We go all the way up to preset 36. Um, I didn't make any changes, so no, I guess I don't. And we've got all these different options for the power amp, the cab, the EQ. Every time I select one of these, the screen on the actual more radar changes as well. So that's kind of nifty and um, what we can do now is we can click on import and if you click on import um, you have your actual preset files here so if you did back them up before you did an update you can put them back in so you can import them again and um, if you did not do the update and you came straight to the radar studio interface then you can actually save your uh, presets here you can select each one individually so if you have any made any modifications, you can go ahead and do that. Now, concerning actually importing your own personal or your downloaded impulse responses, what we want to actually go to is the cab and mic section. And um, currently I'm actually on preset 36. So keep that in mind as well, that anytime you're actually clicking on one, that's the preset that you're changing. So preset one, we can see it's got a one by eight, a champer. Now this is one that I probably would never use or very seldom use. So this is the one I'm actually gonna change now. And I just 
open up the model here. Now this is the model of the cabinet. You can see chamfer, chamfer one times eight or one one eight inch is selected here, and I actually go to the plus here. Now you can see right here we've got IR files. So I'm going to go down to actually where my IR files are. So it actually did take me a while to figure out where I saved them, but um, I remember now. And um, I've got a couple here. So in here, VST plugins. And I've got some from uh, Lancaster Audio. Now, if you know them, they do some great impulse responses as well. And for example, here, I've got a Marshall 1960. I've got a Mesa Boogie Black Shadow, a Mesa Rectifier. These are all 4 by 12 cabinets, which I really like. And um, they always give you the different file extensions as well. So in this case, I'm just going to choose a IR file. So this it's a WAV file in theory, and just like the Marshall 1960A here. And you see the waiting button back here. So waiting, and it's showing no response. And the import of IR was successful. So we've got a Marshall 1960 on this... Um, on this preset right now. Now I'll do one more just to show you. Um, so this is always going to take the position of the the Champer one times eight that I had in there before. So um, I'm going to choose the 1960. I'll quickly change the six L sixes. I want to use some tubes as well. I've got the power amp on. Um, I'll leave the rest the way it is for now, and I'll just click on save save that so we've got that in now so you can see Marshall 1960 cabinet is in there now I'm gonna do the same thing for the um, second preset as well now you might have noticed as soon as you actually put in your own IR model you have a couple of options that disappear so you don't have mic you don't have mic volume you don't have the sea edge or distance of the actual mic either so it's taking into account that this impulse response has the, the cabinet and the mics and the mic distances already pre-programmed into that. That's that's pretty much what an IR is. So um, I'll do it one more time. And this time I'm going to go to my two notes audio engineering because I have some cabinets in here. Nope, not there. Impulses from Heavy Hitters. The Heavy Hitters pack is from own hammer and they have some fantastic impulse responses so if you're looking to get a great bundle of 4 by 12s especially ones for for rock or metal um, these ones are fantastic you can see this is just the a1 picks if i go back here if it's got the a1 picks single cabinets we've got diesel marshall mezzo boogie and orange 412s and they're just they sound fantastic the Lancaster audio ones are also really good sounding, but um, Own Hammer really knock it out of the park. And you can see they have different blends as well. So they mix, you know, diesels with mega boogie, mezzo boogies with vintage 30s and uh, Marshalls with an EVH even, you know, different speakers, G80s with V30s, which is really cool. So um, one of my favorites is actually a diesel 4x12 with vintage vintage 30 speakers and it's got a modern sound so I'll put that in. We can see here again waiting waiting and we'll be done in about now. So import IR success. So um, I love the translation of this. I mean it's obviously a it's a Chinese company, but they produce fantastic stuff, so I don't really care about the translation. They get their point across. What else is important? They have fantastic gear. So now we've got my Marshall 1960 in there and my diesel 412 with vintage 30 speakers. And as you know, you can change out the power amp tubes here, um, do a bit of an EQ. Um, sorry, the pre preamp tubes. Power amp tubes? It's power amp, sorry. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, I'll save this one again, and we're all done. And if you actually look then at your more radar, you will see that the screen shows an IR, and it will show the name of the cabinet that you're using, and you can rock out. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, or if anybody wants me to do another video like this, Please 
do not hesitate to ask. My name is Jack, and as most of you will know, I still have a serious case of gas. And um, I was using my inside voice today. This is my radio voice. So, hope you all have a nice day, a nice afternoon, and a good night.